Have you noticed how often web work can actually work as a calculator for you? Let's look at a particular problem and see some details associated with that. Here we've got a, a, a triangle. It's going to be a right triangle. C is going to be the right angle and we've got the hypotenuse C kind of a standard setup. So let's draw a picture and get a better feel of what's happening in this particular triangle. Okay, we're told that it's a right triangle. So let me see if I can't get that going here. So I've got a right triangle. And we've got this angle C, which is the right angle. We've got this side C. We've got an angle A and a side A and an angle B and a side B. That's often the strategy that's used when they're labeling triangles. If you label angles with capital letters and the opposite sides with lower le lowercase letters of the, the, the same lowercase letter. So the side opposite angle A is lowercase a and so on. Okay, now here are the things that, that we're told about this uh, particular problem. That C is equal to 3. That A is equal to 64 degrees. And uh, that C is a right angle. Okay, so there we are, a classic solve a triangle problem. We've got three of the six measurements. We've got this side, we've got this angle, and we've got this angle. And we're asked to find the other three measurements, the A, the B, and the C. Okay, well, here's what we know. Since this is a right triangle, we know that the sine of A, but I already know what A is, so it's 64 degrees, is equal to the opposite, which is A, over the hypotenuse, which is 3. Okay, so there's an equation in three unknowns, uh, in, in uh, and three variables, and I know two of them, so there's only one unknown here. So, so solving this equation, I can just multiply both sides by three and discover that A has to be equal to three times the sine of 64 degrees. Okay? So, Remember that part. Th this is a time sign here, not a. Uh, this is actually a time sign here. Okay, three times sixty-four degrees. So we now know what a has got to be. I'm going to try and enter that over here now. Now, part of my problem is as soon as I start entering this, I'll I'll lose this picture. So write that down. Be sure that you understand the algebra there. It's just because the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So we get this particular equation. So A is equal to 3 times the sine of 64 degrees. I need to move this out of the way so that I can uh, uh, put that information in here. So A was equal to 3 times the sine of 64 degrees. Now, the problem with web work is it can do calculations, but it always assumes that the angle is in radians. Okay? So if I'm going to ask web work to do the calculation for me, I need to convert that degree to radians. And we know how to do that. 60, 40, let's talk about, about uh, doing that calculation just real quickly. Uh, let me change my color okay here here's the idea is that 64 degrees I need to multiply that that by one somehow so it turns into radians 
So I need radians on top, and I need degrees on the bottom. If I take pi radians, that's the same as 180 degrees. Okay, So the degrees will cancel and I'll be left with radians. So in other words, 64 degrees is equal to 64 times pi divided by 180. Okay, so here in this, instead of uh, instead of having three times the sine of sixty-four degrees, I need to have sixty-four times pi divided by a hundred and eighty. Okay, now let me preview that answer for just a minute. Notice that that now web work is doing that calculation for me. There's the sine. Uh, three times the sine of 64 pi over 180. That is the 64 degrees converted to radians because web work always calculates in radians. And so that's the answer that I'm that I'm needing to to go there. And web work uh, did all of that calculation for me. Okay, let's uh, check that answer. Ah, correct. Okay, now let's uh, quickly complete the rest of the calculations here. Furthermore, we know, let me change my color back to green, that the cosine of A, which I know is 64 degrees, is equal to, these are degrees, 64 degrees, is equal to the adjacent, which is B, over 3. So I can solve for B by just multiplying both sides of this equation by 3. And so B is equal to 3 times the cosine of 64 degrees. The web work always does the calculate. Web work always uses radians. So if I'm going to ask uh, web work to do the calculation here, then I'm going to need to say that b is equal to three times the cosine of 64 degrees times pi divided by 180. Okay, the same conversion stuff that we we're doing up there. 64 degrees is 64 times pi divided by 180. So let's uh, put that information in here. Remember what that is because it disappears here for a minute. It's going to be 3 times the cosine of 64 degrees, but... Re but uh, web work has to have things in in radians and so we convert that 64 degrees to radians okay now let's complete this other piece of information we knew that it was a right triangle and we know that one of the angles is uh, uh, 64 degrees so if we take the 180 minus 90 minus 64 it can actually do those calculations for us now of course, all of these calculations can be done on a calculator or in some cases by hand. This one can be done by hand. But let's uh, preview our answers there. Notice that web work is doing those calculations for us. That's 26 degrees is what that other one's got to be, that, uh, that other angle. And these calculations are all there. Um, let's check our answers. Ah, they're all correct. The point here is, the web work can often be the calculator for you.